Good afternoon. My name is Jacob Simon, and I'm a senior at San Jose State University studying kinesiology with an emphasis in sports management. Today, I will be giving a presentation on mental health in athletes during the COVID-19 pandemic entitled, It's Okay to Not Be Okay. My research question for this was, how did the COVID-19 pandemic affect awareness and the acceptance of mental health in athletes? On the screen, you have two pictures, the one on the left being a soccer game and the one on the right being the Stanley Cup final. Both of these pictures include no fans, as social distancing measures were in place. Having no fans is very challenging for athletes, as they use the energy of the crowd to motivate, they play for the fans, and without it, it just seems like practice. This has thus affected the mental health in athletes in different ways. What we know about mental health is that it affects our emotional, psychological, and social well-beings. We develop traits like anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, and OCD. Mental health affects athletes with motivation loss, anxiety, depression over canceled seasons, and stress-related diseases. Some of the ways that athletes have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic includes the cancellation or postponement of seasons and games, for our Olympic and Paralympic athletes, the postponement of the Tokyo Olympic Games, getting back into shape, separation from teammates, and finding new ways to cope and motivate themselves to move forward. To look at this, I took a look at two different studies. The one on the left included 235 students, with 135 of them female, who completed online surveys due to social distancing measures. This took a look at researching social connectivity between teammates and the changes in athletic identity. In this case, athletic identity refers to the strength that athletes identify and embrace their roles as athletes. The results of the study was that athletes who stayed connected typically have less question on what their athletic identity is. And individuals with a high social media or social interaction showed less signs of developing mental health issues. So those athletes that were able to stay connected were able to see their teammates, their parents, their friends, and had a very high interaction on social media can thus be seen as having less of a chance of developing mental health issues. This does not mean that they're not going to, but they don't have as big of a risk. The study on the right takes a look at 136 Olympic and 39 Paralympic athletes using different online surveying methods. The inclusion criteria for this was that athletes needed to be 18 plus years of age and be based in Spain. Researching the effects of the 2020 Tokyo shutdown, neuroticism scored the highest among females, and confinement among all athletes proved to be the number one cause of stress and anxiety. Athletes also showed to have a higher understanding of COVID-19 with a media worry, but a very high social alarm. And the most interesting was that most athletes wanted the postponement of the games, due to concerns about their health, their family, and they wanted to have the real experience. This shows that the athletes were understandable with the postponement of the games, but it still doesn't mean that they were okay with it. They understood the risks, but they wanted to play. The findings and why they matter. Athletes are normal people who deal with real life problems. And COVID-19 has drastically changed the sporting world. We may never see sports in the same light as we saw them just a year ago, with social distancing being in play, revenue changes, and postponement and delayments. And connectivity is vital for athletes. These are, these are a group of people that need to stay connected with not just the outside world, but with their own little hub. And athletes were more accepting of the shutdown, but it does not mean that they handled it well. Athletes need, need to add new motivations and drives to get through shutdowns and Olympic delayments. The shutdowns caused very, very bad uh, changes to their routines and to their bodies. So they need to add new motivations and drives in order to get them back to that spot. And Olympic and Paralympic athletes' lives were shaken up. They spent the past four, five, six years training for this moment, and they have to wait a full another year in order to get there. My work cited page for those two studies. And I just want to say thank you. I hope this topic can bring light that athletes are normal people too. And it's okay for them to not be okay. Thank you.